In this video, we're going to show you how to replace the grill on your Toyota Camry. Let's get started. Using a 21 millimeter socket, remove the lug nuts. And remove the wheel. Using a 10 millimeter socket, we're gonna go around the front bumper on the bottom and remove all of the bolts. Using a flat blade screwdriver, twist this lock and remove the pin. Then you'll be able to remove the fender liner out of the bumper. Using a 10 millimeter socket, remove the bolt out of the corner of the bumper. We'll do the same thing on the other side. Using a flat blade screwdriver, we're gonna twist this clip and we'll be able to pop it out. Pull the fender liner out of the clip. We're gonna pull it down at the top and you'll find a 10 millimeter bolt. Remove that. Pull down on the splash shield. And inside of here, there's gonna be a push button connector for the fog light. Go ahead and push that and pull down on the connector. And remove it from the fog light. We'll do the same thing on the other side. Using a 10 millimeter socket, remove the bolt in the middle of the bumper. There's gonna be a Phillips head screw inside of this rubber grommet. There's gonna be one on both sides of the bumper. Using a Phillips head screwdriver, remove the screw. Our screw is stuck in the housing. So we're gonna remove the grommet around the outside using a flat blade screwdriver. And I'm gonna use a round off socket to go over the head of the bolt. I'll hammer it on and try and twist this off. If that doesn't work, then we're gonna drill through and drill the bolt out. Remove the bolt and do the same thing on the other side. This push tab is going through the front bumper into the headlight. Remove the clip. Only this one is going through the bumper into the headlight. Do the same thing on the other side. Go to the corner of the bumper. We're gonna go behind it and pull. We're gonna pop the clips. And there's gonna be one more pop right here just like that. Do the same thing on the other side. We're gonna remove the front bumper. As you reach over and grab this bumper, you're gonna feel a little lip with your fingers. We're gonna peel this lip back almost as we lift up. and then remove the bumper from the car. Using a Phillips head screwdriver, remove the screws on either side of the grill. Using a small pick or a flat head screwdriver, we're gonna get behind all of these clips and start popping the grill through the bumper.
Do this on the top and bottom. The tabs for the top clips are going to be on the grill tabs. Push it in, push it through. Remove the grill from the vehicle. We're going to install the grill into the front bumper. I'm going to put it on the underside. Then we'll start going around popping the clips in. Continue going around the grill, pushing it into place. Install the screws on either side. Install the bumper onto the vehicle. It's best to start on a corner. Hook it around. Push the bumper clips into place. Do the same thing on the other side. Install the bolts through the top of the bumper. Our bolts broke for these two side holes, so we're going to be using a replacement bolt. Do the same thing on the other side. Install the clips. Install the bolt for the corner of the bumper. Pull the fender liner over and tuck it into the front bumper.
install this clip through the hole. Ours doesn't exist. Do the same thing on the other side. Install the clip. Install the connector for the fog light. Push until you hear a click. If you don't hear a click, give it a pull. Make sure the connector is locked on. Do the same thing on the other side. Tuck the splash shield back into the front bumper. Install the screws. Do the same thing on the passenger side. Install the wheel and get the lug nuts started. Snug down the lug nuts. Torque the wheel on the ground. Torque the lug nuts in a star pattern to 76 foot pounds. And you're good to go. When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.